King Idaho's News Channel 7. This is the News at 10. Welcome to the Monday edition of the News at 10. We begin with the biggest four day stretch of the holidays. At least shopping is wrapping up right now with Cyber Monday. It started with Black Friday, continued with Small Business Saturday, and a day that helps local businesses who survived the last two years make a push into 2022. But as our Katia Stepovic tells us, this year folks came out in droves and provided optimism for those businesses and their bottom lines going forward. Katia? Well, Mark, that's absolutely right. Many business owners didn't really know what this weekend had in store for them, but turns out they were in for a pleasant surprise. Another holiday season during a pandemic. Many business owners predicted that this small business Saturday would resemble the last. Cases were really high, and so everyone was, was limiting numbers and requiring masks, and so we limited um, last year to no more than 10 customers in the store at any one time. This year, the COVID restrictions were a little less strict, but the crowds were a whole lot bigger. Bruce Delaney, owner of Rediscovered Books in Boise, says even though masks are still required, the community came out to support the shop. So much so that sales on Small Business Saturday grew 10% over last year. We're in one of the, those businesses that people love. People don't necessarily love, you know, some some businesses, people love their bookstores, people love their record stores. And he's right. Idahoans sure love to get their hands on some new records, and they came out to prove it. Throughout the day, we just kept like going, wow, this is staying busy. And uh, um, yeah, wow, it was pretty astonishing. Comparing 2021 to 2020 Small Business Saturday, the record exchange went up 58% in sales. Even when you compare that to a pre-COVID year like 2019, their sales still grew 28%. People just wanted to get out and shop, um, but it's also there's a resurgence in, in vinyl and I think in music in general. People discovered it during the pandemic, sitting at home, listening to music, uh, buying turntables. Whether you're out searching for some home knickknacks or looking for the perfect gift, store owners want the community to remember that the pandemic is not over and that they are still feeling the brunt of it. Supply issues, uh, trying to keep the shelves stocked with Everything from t-shirts to records to turntables. I mean, there's just shortages everywhere, uh, supplies and materials. So uh -huh. some things we just won't be able to get, get back in or even get in before Christmas. If you're looking for specific things at any, at any business, yeah, but especially small businesses, come in earlier rather than later. While this year's gift may not be the exact gift you set out to give, local businesses credit the community for keeping their doors open. While they hope that continues, they ask that you pack your patience with you. You know, we're doing our best to keep the shelf stocked and, and trying to get everything in that we, we anticipate people will want, uh, but we can't get all those things. So, uh, but we, hopefully we have a lot of other stuff that they, uh, you know, that might fill the void for them. I reached out to the Downtown Boise Association to see if they had any statistics from this small business Saturday. And while they don't have those numbers for us, they tell me that all around store owners say turnout was fantastic and that the local support was very, very noticeable. So we just hope it keeps up, right, Mark? Reason to be optimistic and Glenn's right. You know, everybody loves their vinyl. All plastic <laughs> right here. All right, Katia, thank you.